Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to basically lower your process count in task manager and get that low as possible to the point where you'll get that lower input lag, better FPS and just less system usage in general. So this will work on Windows 10 or 11. I'm going to be showcasing it on Windows 11, but it's the exact same process. So the first thing we want to do is we want to just open up our task manager by right click on our taskbar, click task manager and then go to the performance tab and then click CPU and just look at our process count currently. So with my browser open, Audacity open and OBS Studio open, I have around 160 processes and this is just a stock Windows 11 installation. I have not done much to this except run my Windows 11 optimization video. So yours might be a little bit more, yours might be a lot more or a lot less. It doesn't really matter if you want lower processes, just follow what I'm about to do next. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be changing our split threshold for our SVC host. And this just depends on what RAM we have. So if we have 16 gigabytes of RAM, we set the specific value. If you have eight gigabytes, you set to this value. So we'll talk about that once we get to that. So before we go through with any of the stuff that we do to actually lower processes, there is a little bit more advanced. The first thing you want to do is obviously just disable startup applications. So you just go to your task manager, go to the startup apps and just make sure you disable stuff that you don't need in here. This is really important just because this drastically lowers your process count a lot of the other stuff does as well but this is the biggest factor right here so just disable any of the stuff that you don't use in here and then if you click on the bottom right arrow where it shows show hidden icons you want to make sure everything here is as minimum as possible i've seen people have 50 things running in the background just in this little window and that could literally destroy your gameplay so just disable or exit out of all these stuff down here and make sure you disable them on startup so they don't keep popping up every time you start up your pc or just completely uninstall them in the settings so that's the number one thing i would do before continuing with anything else in this video now once you've done that all you want to do is we're going to basically change the split threshold and this is going to reduce the svc host.exe programs that are running in the background and what these do is just they basically just group the services within windows to specific groups and lowering these groups just basically reduces the count of that so what we're going to do is we're going to search up reg edit in the search bar and expand the hk local machine expand system expand current control set and then click control now once you've clicked control you just want to find svc host split threshold in kb and all we're going to do is from this picture that i'm going to show on the screen right here you're going to basically copy whatever number that your memory corresponds with so if you have 16 gigabytes you you would copy the the number of 1 million and if you have tw 24 gigabytes it would be 1.8 million so just copy whatever i show you on the screen i'll also leave it in the description and and you can just copy it directly from there. But for you, if you have 16 gigabytes, you would just do a million. So you would just copy that. So you just want to double click on SVC split threshold in KB. You want to keep it on hexadecimal and then just highlight whatever is in here. Click paste and then press OK. And as you can see, this number should correspond with how much RAM you have whenever it comes to gigabytes. This will show it in kilobytes, but if you convert it to gigabytes, it would be 16 gigabytes. So you would just do that corresponding to how much memory you have. Now, once you've done that, you would just restart your PC. And if you go to the processes tab it will drop down by a lot so i'll do that real quickly and show you guys the difference so once you've restarted your pc and you are back on desktop all you want to do is just go to task manager go to the performance tab and just look at your processes so we dropped down from about 160 to 130 to about 80 and that's with obs open audacity open and a couple other things open so that's just from doing the svc host tweak now for you it might be a little bit less of a difference or it might be more of a bigger difference but just make sure you have lower stuff right in the background and right here and that should take care of most of it now we're going to go through something called auto runs which basically is a program where it shows everything that ever runs on your computer as soon as it turns on and through that program we could disable a lot of services that are useless or are unneeded and just clean up some stuff that we do not need within the windows installation that we have now so go to the link in the description and it will take you to the auto runs download page so once you've downloaded auto runs you just want to open it up and and then just extract it and then once you've extracted it all you want to do is just double click auto run 64.exe and once you do that just click run and you can close out of everything else and wait for this to load so give it a second while it scans everything in your computer to see what's going on and as you can see it will show us everything here but first we're going to go to the log on tab and these are basically stuff that opens up as soon as you sign into your pc so anything here that you don't need you will uncheck it so for example i have this stuff down here unchecked now go to 
scheduled tasks and this is sort of the same thing these are tasks that instantly launch as soon as you start up your pc you might want to go in here and just figure out what each one does and if you don't need it uncheck it and if they're yellow you can right click and click delete on them only if they're yellow then go to services and you can do the same thing here as you can see these are update services for microsoft edge obviously i don't want these running in the background so i uncheck you could do the same thing for other programs that show up in here and then we're going to go to drivers for example if you have a driver like this that's yellow you can just right click click delete and press ok and you could do that for anyone that's yellow and that's just auto runs right there you might want to do a little bit more research on what each of these tasks do or each of these services do that you're disabling them just because they might bug out some of the programs that you usually do on a daily basis so just keep that in mind before you just uncheck random stuff in here now once you've done that you could just close out of this and now we could get into basically disabling unnecessary services within windows and the easiest way to find this out is just press windows key and r type services.msc and it will take you to the services computer management page now these are basically all the services within windows that run either automatically or manually these you basically do not need depending on your needs if you use xbox microsoft and all these other stuff you don't need a lot of them if you don't use either one of those you could disable a lot more but in this video i don't want to basically break anyone's computer and have them not be able to use bluetooth or access certain pages within win settings so we're going to leave this to basically a very short list of services within windows that we get to save and from there you can either do your own research on how to disable more services or book a pc optimization service on my website and get your pc completely optimized and not have to worry about stuff breaking but let's get basically right into what services we should look out to disable. so the main services we want to tackle are services that are running whenever they're manual or services that are set to automatic as a startup type we could disable these just to get lower process count even more and just have less stuff running in the background that uses up our memory so if you don't use any of the bluetooth stuff any of the bluetooth services you could disable them and disable the avctp service if you do not use bluetooth however if you use bluetooth obviously ignore this and move on and now another service we could disable is the connected user experiences and telemetry and we could disable this just because we don't need feedback being sent to microsoft so you could disable this completely so you just double click on this once you find it and set startup type to disabled press apply press ok now we want to find download and maps manager and this is pretty much useless unless you use maps for whatever reason so disable that we can find print spooler and basically this is if you use a printer if you don't use a printer then just disable this it's unneeded and you can press ok if you use printer obviously just keep this alone and we're going to find windows image acquisition and this is basically for or devices that scan stuff if you don't have any of those then you could disable this because you don't need it and we're gonna find Windows and in insider service and if you do have this you could just pretty much disable it that'll see in the Windows insider program you could also disable Windows push notifications these are also unneeded but you notifications within Windows won't work anymore and you could also disable Windows search but your Windows search might not work as properly as it used to so you won't be able to search files directly you would only be able to search simple stuff so if you don't use those you can disable those and usually those are the ones that use the most memory another one would be disabling windows defender and that's a really important one i have a whole separate video on how to disable windows defender so you can just watch that just because that video is a little bit easier on most users just because you have the ability to disable windows defender and then re-enable it quickly with just a simple program doing it through here is going to be a little bit more technical you have to go through registry and use a program that unlocks all privileges within registry which which I don't want to show just because that's way too complicated for just disabling a single service. But other than that, guys, just restart your PC after you've pretty much disabled any services in here that, that I mentioned, or if you disable services that you found out you don't need on your own, just restart, look at your processes in task manager, and they should be way lower and it pretty much should be noticing a difference in game. But otherwise, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, comment down below what video you want me to do next. And and if you guys want a full PC optimization service where you don't have to worry about any of the stuff I do everything that I do in the YouTube videos and way more then go to the first link in the description where you can book one of the three services that I offer on my website I've worked with pro players like Booga and basically any pro player in the Fortnite scene I've pretty much worked with but otherwise guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed subscribe leave a like comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out